and welcome to Tavern Chat. I'm your host, Eric Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR, your main proprietor at the Tenkar's Tavern blog. So, why do I have it? Well, a graphic. Why is the graphic the Dungeons and Dragons white box, the original box set? Because over the years, we've gone from role playing to role playing. And I know it sounds a little weird, but we went from role playing our characters with dice to role playing our characters, and the dice are the game. What do I mean by that? Well, with current editions of Dungeons and Dragons, when I say current, anything from third edition on, certainly. Uh, you can s screw up your character build. Did you ever hear of a character build, by the way, in uh, old school d, d But you can screw up your character build. I didn't take the right feet. I didn't take the right skills, and now I can't qualify for this or this, the synergy of this feet with this feet, and I didn't do it right, and I screwed it up. Well, that's not role-playing. That's playing the dice. That's playing character abilities. It goes back on yesterday's video where fair and balanced. Fair and balanced, my ass. Well, that, that, that fair and balanced is vanilla. And focusing on skills and abilities is power game. So, with the original rules, you could be three character classes. Fighter, magic user, and cleric. No thieves. There weren't even thieves around. So what did you do with the trap? You had to outthink it. You had to role play it. So you could say that the thief class was the first step of taking role playing with an R O L E to role playing. R-O-L-L. -L. And that's certainly how we played first edition. You were a thief. You sucked at your shit initially. But you made your role. You didn't say, oh, um, I'm looking for tripwires or uh, is this a, a gas trap? You, oh, I just found a trap. I open. I picked the lock. Right? Before you had the thief class, you had to role play that. You had to describe your actions to the GM. How are you searching for traps? I got my 10-foot pole parting away. Well, once we had the thief class, 10-foot poles kind of took less precedence because, well, thieves detect traps, not 10-foot poles. So uh, you could even argue that the more evolved Dungeons & Dragons has gotten, the more it has stepped away from role play, R O L E. But I'll take it even further. Classes today, characters today, are as much defined by their backstory as they are by their abilities. But what defined old school characters? What made your fighter different from another fighter? Their experiences. The stories that you told about your adventures, the stories that evolved from gameplay, that is what made your classic fighter who and what he was. The stories that were generated around him and the, and the party. But today, and I've only, <laughs> I, I, I've seen this firsthand because I, for a while, did run a game at a game store. And even though I was running the stores and was very light, there was always spillover because you're running publicly. You can't say, no, you can't play. And besides which, I want to add more people to the old school gaming hobby. I wasn't looking to be a gatekeeper. And I've talked about this before. They sit down at the table and they go, they give you this whole backstory. Oh, my character's name is so-and-so. They were the village elders firstborn. They have a magic ring that allows them to uh, leave no tracks behind. 
and a magic sword that I don't remember what the hell it did. It did something stupid. <clears throat> I'm like, you don't start with that. But why? Because you don't. You're a first level character. Oh, but I need to get the following abilities because I need. I go, no, this is Swords and Wizardry. This is a classic RPG style game, OSR. You don't have feats, you don't have skills. You are what you make of your character. No, 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 because they need that hand holding. Now, the joke used to be to some extent that, oh, old school games are all about rolling dice. Well, yes and no. Because of DM fiat, because of so much of what's not in the rules, old school games are very much about role playing your character and explaining what your activities are, what your character is doing. Because what your character is actually doing to search for traps, search for secret doors, or to pick a lock makes a difference. And new school games, and later editions of D&D, nah, don't need it. Don't worry about it. Just roll, right? You've seen that. Just roll. It irks me because I want to see my characters, my players, push the envelope and try to, not necessarily the rules, rules, rules lawyer, but to think their way out of a situation, which honestly happens less and less in the newer school games. From my experience, it relies on rules, not rulings. And I think rulings, and in, in from my style of play, wins out. But that's just me. Folks, there's a link on the bottom of the screen, 10 cards, there's tavern.game slash Cubicle 7, Death Watch, Rogue Trader, if you like Warhammer, 40K, RPGs, if you like the setting, if you like the lore, there's some good choices there. There's some other good choices at Humble Bundle. There's a 5e bundle from uh, Goodman Games of all places. But if you go there, you make a purchase, a portion of the proceeds go to support the channel. And we do appreciate it. Other than that, Folks, as always, be safe, be well. God bless. Roll those dice, roll them well. I will be back again tomorrow, Wednesday, for the live stream. Special guest? Eh, maybe. But it's definitely going to be fun. It always is. Look forward to seeing you then. God bless. Catch you later.